This podcast includes adult language and graphic depictions of murders and criminal acts. This is a comedy-style true crime podcast. We do our best not to make fun of victims or victims' families. However, we do introduce our sense of humor while telling graphic stories. If the mix of comedy and true crime is not your thing, this may not be the right podcast for you. Audience discretion is advised. On today's episode, we'll be talking about 17-year-old Christine Falling, who was convicted of killing three kids, although the number of victims is believed to be higher. Uh, The motive? The voices in her head told her to do so. It's the Killer Babysitter, today on Two Murder Morons. Hey, Mike, I'm going to do the f***ing intro. Watch how a f***ing professional does this shit. Shit. And today's episode, we'll be talking about 17-year-old Christine Fowling, who is convicted of killing three kids, although the number of victims is believed to be much higher. The motive? The voices in her head told her to, and she's a f***ing a- It's the Killer Babysitter, today on Two Murder Morons, bitches. How was that? That's good. Here to go. Yeah, you guys f- Suck. Why are you so excited? <laughs> What's the matter? You're like that. You have that look of like a kid that's like his uncle's a sex offender. You know, <laughs> hey, hey, what's going what's on, on, everybody? What's happening? Welcome to the show. My name is Andy. Sitting across from me, as always, is my good buddy, Mike. Hello. Hola. And this is Two Murder Morons. It sure is. Yes, welcome to the show. Thanks for tuning in today. It's been a weird day. It's been a weird day. It's it been has been. Day. But uh, this makes it better. It does. This always makes it better. Yeah. I did the intro. You, I know. I'm yeah. proud of you. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Mike. You did all right. It's tough. It's, it's, it, it, it is. It's more. It's a lot more tougher than doing the actual show part of it. Yeah, because you kind of got to wing it. Yeah. And you have to nail it. Yeah, it's do. the first thing people see. They don't like the intro. Yeah, they're gone. They're clicking off of it. Yeah. Well, they see my face. They'll be like, mm, maybe, maybe not. Let's try it. Well, this will be the episode. 102,000 views. That'd be great. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, I'd ben, be ecstatic. You're hosting from now on if that happens. Maybe I better go home and watch this a lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Go on the an- analytics. It's yeah. like, wow, the same person watched it 99,000 times. Some of that. Who yeah. has time for that? That's a record. Well, yeah. I don't have a job, so I mean, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> this I mean, is, this your is job. my job. Yeah. And I don't get paid for it. It's I, great. Well, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, good Lord. Where do we go from here? Oh, God. What are we talking about today? We are, t- well, okay. So this is a uh, nice, you know, back when we were saying, hey, if you got a request, yeah, we'll do a show for you. My sister hit me up. Not gonna. We're not posting no pictures because if I post a picture of my sister, I'm dead. So I do the editing. So all I have to do is post a picture of your sister. You don't know what she looks like. Uh, I've seen her on your Facebook. I'm sure I can get a picture. But do you get me in trouble? She doesn't like her picture taken. So you think she wants her picture on the internet? Oh, probably not. I won't. I wouldn't do that. I know. If you're serious, I won't really. Yeah, yeah, she won't. She wouldn't be happy with me. So basically, we're just. My sister sent this in, and. Like and requested this requested story. Requested this story. She says, "Hey, you guys ought to do this one." So okay, here we are. It well, was it was quite a while ago. What she said, I think "It was back in February." <laughs> no, well, we we got around to <laughs> we it. We got around to it. It takes time. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah, we're talking about Christine Falling. She's uh, basically the babysitter killer. That's cr- yeah. This is a crazy story. It is. I know I've heard it before, but when you sent it to me and I kind of I I read it the first time, I was like, "Oh damn, yeah, this is kind of messed up." Yeah, it is. Well, they all are, really, but in their own little way. Yeah. Real quick. Yeah. Because I don't want to end up on the error board again. Okay. Um, if you are listening to the show right now. Wow. We are. You go. <laughs> you're so mad that I caught it. <laughs> Look at him smiling. It's like, damn it. Uh, if you're listening to the show right now, please know that we are primarily a video podcast. So when we start talking about, look at this and look at this picture and look at that. And you're all upset because you're like, who the hell shows pictures? Yeah, who on shows a pictures on a podcast? podcast? It's because there's a video version. It's on YouTube and Spotify. So if you're listening, um, tune into us there. And likewise, if you'd rather listen, we're on every major podcast platform. Or, or if you're driving the car 
and you listen to the episode, and you say, I want to see the ep- that episode. Watch it, too. Yeah, watch it, too. Why not? Why not? I mean, our episodes are so grand. They are. That I could see someone listen to it and then turn around and re-listen to it while watching it again. Yeah, I could, too. <laughs> well, I know we could. Oh, I know. I'm saying. Well, know. you, you know. Being facetious. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe they will go in the merch store at that point. <laughs> like, yeah, maybe I think I want a sweatshirt. You're jumping right into the shameless plugs. <laughs> Let's keep those for the end, at least. Okay. All right. We've got to... We got to keep people interested here. All right. Okay. So I say we, I say, uh, I'm ready to get with this going. Get it done, dude. Let's right. hear it. Let's go. All right. So here we are. Here's Steve. Well, we're going to take a little drive. Where were we at on the last episode? What were we at? What did we do last? Uh, well, last episode was Killer Grannies. Killer Grannies. So we were all over the place with the Killer Grannies. Yeah, we were everywhere. Well, the last full episode that we did, we were in what city? What state? Yeah, the last full episode was Killer Grannies. Oh, that's a Killer Grannies. Right. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about that. One before that was Ed Gein. That's right. Okay. Well, we're going to take a little drive down to Florida. 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 I like Florida. I do, too. Pretty place. Yep. Well, depending on the place in Florida. True. There are some not so There are some, yeah. I mean, if you go south, uh, like Tampa and farther down. Yeah. I'm not much for the coast or living inland. Yeah. Why would you you move to Florida and live in, (laughs) you know— I know what you mean. Yeah, right in the dead center of the center state. Of the state. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why would you do that? I, don't know. I mean, I saw. I mean, I guess if you're a horse farmer or so whatever, people like living in the jungle. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Man. I if, know. If I li- if I was to move to Florida, I want beachfront property. Right. But I can't afford beachfront property, so I'm going to have beachfront property my way, which is picture on the wall. Picture of, oh, <laughs> while you live inland, yeah. <laughs> yeah. in a condo on the on the backside. Gotcha. Okay, I gotcha. I can smell the water, but I can't see it. Right, you can feel the breeze. Yep. Yeah, that's that's where I'm at. Okay. Well, here we go. Okay. All right. You ready? 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 So, uh, Christine Falling, uh, born in Perry, Florida, March twelfth, nineteen sixty three. She was raised to a poor family and was obese and dull witted. Obese and dull witted. Yep. Put that out there in the story. Right on it, man. Those are some old timey descriptions, aren't yes, they? I don't they think are. we say that anymore. No, not really. No. Nope. I think they're trying to be nice about it. That's that's nice <laughs> about it. <laughs> to me, that sounds like using the R word. Well, I know. Well, at least they didn't use that word. Yeah, true. So she required a regular dose of medication to control her epileptic seizures. This is going to be great. Uh, growing up, she would drop cats from uh, Lethal Heights to test their dying lives. This sounds like the perfect person to have babysit your kids. It, it really <laughs> does. Yeah. This is who I want. Uh, uh, and she would also strangle them as her way of showing them her love. I'm sorry. I'm, she would strangle the cats to show them that she loved them. Because mm-hmm. the tighter you hug them. I guess that's the more love you got for him. Something. I don't know. Hey, I'm just, I'm just the, I'm just the narrator. You're just the messenger. Yeah, I'm the messenger. Yeah. Don't kill the messenger. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I mean, we're already at it. I mean, she's uh, born poor, right? She's dull witted. She's, right. ki- she's killing cats already, right? Yeah. I mean, most guys, they I mean, this would be like middle school for some guys. Oh, like some serial killers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, Gradually work their way up to it. She, she just, just dove into it, diving right she's in. Dull witted, right? Would you stop saying dull witted? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I have never heard a term that sounded more out of like nineteen hundred. I think it's cool than dull witted. Okay, it just sounds nicer. Dull witted. Anyway, so uh, yeah, um, God, killing kids. And this was at the age of nine. Christine <laughs> and her sister were play. Oh wait. wait. At the age of nine, Christine and her sister were placed in a children's refuge. So now she gets put in a refuge yeah. in or- Orlando for one year. Okay. I guess mom needed a break. I, guess, I just got to say real quick, I f- forgot to pull her picture up. I just realized it's a picture of her with a cat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus, it is. Wow. <laughs> that cat didn't live very long after that. I don't know if that cat's alive in the I, photograph. I don't think the cat lived. Yeah. <laughs> Because she's showing her love. It oh, man. Looks like it might be dead. My God. Okay. Well, I did pick the pictures. I should have looked at him just a little bit better. I just realized. I looked over my laptop. I was like, is she holding the damn cat? Yep, yeah, she's holding the cat. What oh, the Lord. fuck? Jesus. <sighs> okay. So, anyway, um, they get moved to uh, a uh, 
place there in Orlando, Children's Refuge. They don't really call it Children's Refuge anymore. Do they? No, I don't know. Is that the same as like an orphanage? I would think so. Like an orphanage I mean, it's or not a home. Day, it's not a daycare. The daycare wants you to pick them up at the end of the day. Right. Not a year later. It's kind of basically like an orphanage. Yeah. But we don't really call them orphanages anymore, do we? No. It's called DCS, and they go to... Like foster care? Foster care. I don't even think there is an orphanage anymore. I think it's all foster care. Hmm. Well, let's look at that. I don't think there is. I mean, other than, you know, other than your, uh, like, uh, places that the young kids go to. Uh, I can't think of the name of it, Andy. Places where young kids go to. Trouble. The, the trouble roller kids. rink? Trouble kids. Juvenile? Yeah. Juvenile. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. That's the only thing I can think of. All right. I think it's all foster care nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. One case worker, 1920 kids on our caseload. Oh, probably way more than uh, that. Probably way more than that. You're right. Probably yeah. hundreds. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Mm. Crazy. So, September 1977, at the age of 14, Christine was married to a man in her, to a man in his 20s. At 14, she was married? Well, it's the 70s. A lot of, you know. Dude, she's dull with it, dude. I know, but. Mm. Mm. I, is this home not looking out? For, I, I don't I, know. I, I, I have a lot of questions. I do. I would too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Married at 14 to a guy in his 20s. I mean, I could see like in the early 1900s, like coming out of the pioneer days. It happened. Right. You know, it was your cousin or whatever. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. But this is, we're getting into, we're in the, we're in the 70s. We're in a time when people look, kind of frown upon that. Mm -hmm. At least I would think. Anyway, okay. hey, I don't know. Maybe it was okay. Uh, their marriage lasted six weeks due to the violent fights they would have. Yeah, so it wasn't. You know, yeah, wasn't good, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she, uh, maybe she tried to strangle, strangle him. I don't, yeah. She just loved him. Yeah, she loved him so that much. much. <laughs> she wanted to show him. She wanted to show him. Why are you trying to strangle me? I don't get this. I love you. Good Lord. Oh, man. It can only be that way. So, uh, so Christine once threw a 25-pound stereo at her husband during one of their fights. <laughs> Jesus. Well, those, those were rack systems were heavy back oh, then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And she was a she's a big chick. I feel like my dad still has his stereo. I wish my, I had my dad's. But it's that sucker. I yeah, it's yeah. a heavy giant piece of wood, equipment, like wood grain on top and all that. Well, like his, I don't think his is that old. His is all metal, but still, I mean, well, it's yeah, it's I'm, a it, yeah, it's a box. But a lot know? of like this old Sony's and stuff. The top was like that fake wood look. Yeah, or like you know encased. Yeah, but yeah, I wish I still had my dad's. It was nice, nice rack. I just can't imagine having that thrown at me. Well, I mean, it's just like throwing a TV out a window to somebody's car. True. <laughs> yeah, so those are bad. Anyway, yeah. So, God damn, dude. Those are heavy. Yeah. Mm. I guess that's probably why they didn't last very long. So, after the breakup, she lapsed into a bizarre hypochondriac, hypochondriac phase. So, basically faking illnesses, probably. Going to the hospital 50 times for uh, reasons such as red spots, vaginal bleeding, uh, snake bite. <laughs> Did you just say snake bite? <laughs> it's Don't you go to the hospital when you get a snake bite? I would think so, especially if it's a red dot. I, okay. Yeah, I mean, they're poisonous in Florida. I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So uh, doctors really found any treatable symptoms. Okay. Yeah. So she's always going to the hospital. Always, with yeah, yeah. Hypochondriac, something's going wrong. Yeah, yeah. So, um, for work, Christine would babysit for neighbors and relatives because she was the babysitter who obviously did not know her history. Yes, and uh, on February twenty fifth, one of the children she was babysitting for, two year old Cassidy Johnson, was taken to a doctor's office and was diagnosed and suffering from encephalitis. Okay. The girl died on February 28th. Okay. Um, yeah, not good. So the autopsy listed the cause of death as blunt trauma to the skull. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. 
and Christine said the baby passed out and fell from her crib. So she's basically saying the baby fell from out of the crib. Right. It's her excuse for for the blunt trauma. Yeah. Um yeah. Uh so uh, one uh, one physician didn't believe falling story and wrote a note to police to have the babysitter checked out. Okay. That did, note, did the responsible thing. And the the note was lost and the case was closed. Oh nice. That's a note you lose. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, they must have not had a maybe they didn't have post-it notes back then. <laughs> Just wrote it on an index card, and somebody's like, oh, what's this? That's trash. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. Okay. My how this would have gone differently if that note would have made it to where it was intended to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this would have. Right. A lot of kids would have probably lived. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, later, Christy moved. Uh, she moved on to Lakeland, Florida. That's the part of Florida we were referencing earlier that there's no ocean. <laughs> uh uh, two months after arriving, four-year-old uh, Jeffrey Davis stopped breathing in her care. Okay, another one. Number another two. One. Number two. Yeah. Uh, an autopsy revealed symptoms of myo myocarditis. Uh, sure. Yeah, it's a heart problem, which is rarely fatal. Okay. So it sounds like he had a heart problem, but that could have been the cause of it, the death, because they don't cause problems. Uh, three days later, uh, with Jeffrey's family attended, while Jeffrey's family attended the funeral, Christine babysat two-year-old Joseph Spring, the deceased boy's cousin. Okay. Wow. So this family hires her to babysit, and a kid dies. So while and, they're and, at that kid's funeral, and I get, and I get that they don't know it's her yet. Yeah. They think it's this rare condition. Yeah. They hire her to babysit a, a cousin. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. And uh, his name was Joseph, of course. Joseph died that afternoon in his crib while napping. Jesus. Uh, physicians noted there was a viral infection that may have killed the baby, and quite possibly the baby, uh, possibly Jeffrey as well. Okay. So they're saying because they're related. Yeah, this it could have been, been a some, viral. Yeah, it could have been some viral. Okay, because I was going to say at this like point, like COVID or something, maybe. Hopefully, this family is like, wait a second, we keep leaving our kids with this. Yeah, with Christine, what the hell is going on? Right, but then they're probably like, well, she's all witted. Well, well, and you got the doctors saying, yeah, oh, what's well, this? Yeah, it's it's a, this or that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that will eventually stop someday, but yeah. Um, I don't know. Sounds weird to me. Uh, so in July of eight, uh, 1981, she moved on to housekeeping. Maybe sitting, I guess, got a little, maybe she needed a break. Well, it's stressful killing stressful babies. killing like. babies. You're right. Um, yeah. Uh, her bad luck wasn't getting any better when 77-year-old Wilbur Swindle died in his kitchen on her first day on the job. Jesus. Please tell me the time is coming where someone's like, wait a second. Nah, we're not there yet. Good Lord. A while later, uh, she, along with her stepsister, took eight-month-old niece to the doctor's office, where the child received some standard childhood vaccinations. Um, on the way home, the stepsister stopped by the market, leaving falling alone with the child. And when she returned, the baby had simply stopped breathing. Okay, tell me this is the point in time somebody's like, uh... Uh, Christine was found to be a victim of circumstance July 2nd, 1982, when 10-week-old Travis Coleman died in Falling's care. The autopsy revealed internal rupture, ruptures caused by suffocation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now we're kind of getting somewhere. Now, okay. Finally. I think we're getting, we're getting close to the, yeah. Good. Uh, Christine was taken in for questioning where she admitted to killing three of the babies by smothering. Oh, dang. She just came right out and was like, yep. Yep, and where she would press a blanket over their faces in response to disembodied voices chanting, kill the baby. So she's got somebody out there telling her to kill the babies. Yeah, out somewhere in her head, space, somewhere, whatever, kill the baby. Third time she's got a baby in her hand, that's kill the baby. Well, we're lucky it didn't get past this, I guess. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, oof. But still, man, she killed two kids in one family. I know. That's. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. It's just bad. So 
so the way she done it, uh, she, uh, the way I done it, this is her saying, the way I done it, I've seen it on TV, on a TV show, she explained. And I had my own way, though, which was simple and easy. Okay. Uh, no one would hear their scream based on, no one would hear their scream based on her, conv- her confession. She was given a term of life imprisonment, imprisonment with no parole for the first 25 years. Okay. 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 Sounds good, right? Uh oh. This is something about to shift here. It sounds like you're about to hit me with something. No, no. So, uh, Christine Falling, as is often the case with serial killers, had a disruptive and impoverished childhood. Um, when she was born in 1963 uh, in Florida to her mother, uh, 16-year-old Ann, and the 65-year-old Thomas Slaughter. Dang. Okay, so when she's born, mom is 16, dad is 65? Mm-hmm. Was it? Do you know if this was a consensual thing or I, it, we don't know? I don't really know. Okay. I, I'm going to say it probably was. Okay, because a lot of I mean, it's we're talking the South. Things are a little different in that time frame. Everyone from the South just shut the TV off. Shut their TV off. You're right. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. You know, back then, Falling was developmentally disabled, prone to obesity, suffered from epilepsy and aggression. And was never uh, able to um, basically acquire development skills uh, beyond those of a sixth grader. Oh, okay. So she was gall-witted. Yeah. As they said back then. You just like using that term, don't you? It's new today. It's the new word of the day. It's the new word, word of the day. Word of the day. Gall-witted. I expect to see that a lot. Isn't it two words? It is the two words of the day. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Or is it hyphenated? No, it's not hyphenated. It's two word, dull, space witted. Yeah, I guess you could be hyphenated. Two murder morons. Yeah, I guess you could hyphenate it if you wanted to. My bitter's getting thicker, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell you. So due to extreme poverty, uh, her parents, uh, falling, and her older sister were given up for adoption to the falling family. And not long afterwards, the two girls found themselves in, sh- in a children's home. Okay. Uh, because of their c- constant conflicts with adoptive parents. So they're troubled kids. Yeah. But, I mean, she's only got the, I mean, she's got the skills of a sixth grader, basically. She's got the brain of a, of a sixth right. grader. She stopped developing. Yeah, she's done. At so she's, she's always going to be hard to get. She's always going to be a little kid. Yeah. In, in an adult body. Right. <laughs> So, and they didn't, I mean, back then they didn't have the, they didn't know what to do. Right. And that's before Ridland. All that stuff, so. I don't know. So, by that time, Falling had already demonstrated her violent nature. Um, her favorite pastime being uh, the torture and killing of cats. Uh, to see if they really had the nine lives, as she was told. And uh, at the age of uh, 12, she left the children's home. At and, age 12? Yes. And then two years later, she was married uh, to a man 10 years older than her. And again, the, the marriage soon collapsed. This is kind of a going back to back story. Yeah. Um, you know, soon collapsed after the uh, series of violent encounters, the TV, the stereo, yep. and all that good stuff. So, um, and then that's, so that basically sparked a new uh, ex- explicable behavior in falling. So she Got a whole other, you know, behavior issue. Um, so within the next couple of years, she visited the hospital multiple times because, again, she was going through the hypochondriac yep. issue. Um, you know, they were never able to diagnose anything wrong with her um, other than she was suffering from a mental illness. I think they agreed to on that. <laughs> right. Um, uh, she gained a reputation as a good babysitter. How do you gain a reputation as a good babysitter when all the kids you babysit die? I have a feeling in the beginning she was probably a good babysitter to work her way in. Yeah. So she could. She probably heard the voices at first and was probably like, she probably was able to fight it off. Right. But it got too too much. Yeah. I think. Could be. I mean, in order to get rated a good babysitter, you got to be a good babysitter, not a killer babysitter. Right. 
<laughs> I just couldn't imagine people like, yeah, I mean, our son died. But, you know, the doctor said it was yeah. a hard thing. But she was great. She's great. She, Give her a call. Yeah. Yeah, she's a little dull-witted, though. Yeah. I swear to God, if you say that one more time, I'm slapping you. Okay. <laughs> it's the pause you do afterwards. I know. But it's great. <laughs> okay. So, uh, anyway, let's move on. So, uh, she's a good babysitter. And, uh, however, at the age of 17... She began to attack and murder the children that were placed in under her care, of course. Um, on February 28th, 1980, uh, Cassie Johnson, uh, age two, died from what was assumed to be the, uh, we talked about this, the encephalitis. Is this literally, are you rereading? The whole well, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go back to that one. No, it's okay. It, it kind of it kind of falls back and gives a little bit more, like the first first part of it was like a summary. Yeah, and this is kind of going more in depth, a little bit more in depth. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I was having I was having some deja vu. Yeah, I know. Sorry. It, no, you're fine. I just, if that's what it is. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool. Yeah. No, you're fine. Yeah. Good. Okay. Make sure you're okay with it. I'm fine with it. I just wanted to make sure you didn't start at the top and didn't realize you no, no, restarted. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not dimwitted. <laughs> it's not dimwitted. I know. You said you'd slap me if I said the other word. What was the other word? I don't know. The police interviewed Falling uh, after, uh, that, I think it was after the first kid that died. Yeah. Police talked to her, of course. Um, yeah, but, you know, there's no evidence that could be brought against her. matter was not pursued any farther. Um, of course, afterwards, uh, she moved to Lakeland, Florida. She killed a baby under care, even though the death of the 40-year-old Jeffrey Davis was also deemed suspicious. No extensive investigations were ever carried out, um, thus falling to attack a new victim. You know, And then within three days after Jeffrey's death, falling was asked to babysit Jeffrey's two-year-old cousins for the, f for the funeral that, you know, of Jeffrey. That's just so messed up that one kid dies in her care. And then while the family is at the funeral for that one, another kid from that family dies in her care while she's watching that kid for the funeral of the first kid. Yeah, I know. Like, that's – it's sick. Yeah. Yep. And so, you know, you got you got the brief family attending one funeral, and they come home to, you know – Another dead baby. But it, it, but, but it, they think it was attributed to a viral infection. Right, that's and right. And thus, falling once again became – once again escaped the apprehension. At this point, though, if, even if for nothing more than superstition's sake, you stop hiring her as a babysitter. Oh yeah, I will. Yeah. Even if you believed it, what she didn't do anything, but the kids did have issues. Just out of like, obviously, she can't control it, or she's not equipped to handle the kids. Not even that. Not even even if you believe like they had congestive heart failure and they both died of natural. Just out of superstition. True, you know, yeah. Like, yeah, I don't, I, kid die. I don't like the coincidences. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You would stop recommending that she's a great babysitter. Is her sister a good babysitter? I don't know. That's what I would ask. How's her sister babysitting? Yeah. Do you, know record? Any, do you know any other kids from school or anything? Yeah, what's her track record? Go to church, people. There's right. a note board. <laughs> right. Jesus. <laughs> and these kids have been to classes. <laughs> mm. Anyway, what do I know? Crazy shit, man. This is this, this stuff doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. After the double murder, uh, she moved to Perry, Florida again, where she, I think that's where she was originally from, and uh, she found a job as the housekeeper uh, for the seventy-seven-year-old Wilbur Swindle. Of course, on the first day he died in his kitchen, and due to his old age and his deteriorating health, no suspicious suspicious suspicions arose. Yeah, because so, he was old as dirt to begin with. Yeah, 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 he's got health issues. So him yeah. passed away, not a big deal. Uh, her next victim was her 18-year-old her eighteen year old niece, who allegedly stopped breathing while under her care. Uh, this time, too, and for the last time, um, the vicious serial killer was able to escape apprehension. And a year or two later, in 82, 10-week-old Travis Coleman also stopped breathing while falling was attending to him. And then the autopsy recorded was requested, and it was discovered that the infant had died from suffocation. So this is where she. This is the one that got her. Bingo. 
Yeah. So 1982. Um, and of course, now she confessed um, to having killed babies. We know why. Uh, the, the voices in her head. Kill um, a baby. Yeah. It, her motive. She confessed, you know, having to kill these kids, and basically because you know I got a, a voice in my head telling me to kill the babies by placing this blanket over their head. Right. But her her motive still remains unknown. Right. What, what was the motive? I don't think she had one. Well, she said, I don't know why I done what I done the way I done it. She's just seen it done that way. So she did it. Well, in the voice. Yeah. The voice, the voice told her. Yeah, to. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the motive is the, the yeah. uh, mental issues. Probably. I mean, I get that's not a motive. I mean, more the reason. Yeah. I don't think there was like any kind of other than she's got a lot going on upstairs. Yep. Later on, she was, you know, uh, she was asked basically again, you know, basically what were her reasons for doing what she did. Um, it wasn't because, I mean, she was just, inter she was interested. She was just interested in looking after young children. She didn't love them, but she sure liked to, she liked watching them. That's weird. That's weird. So she just had an interest in, she enjoyed babysitting. Yeah. But, but every it, time she babysat, a voice told her to kill the kid and she'd kill the kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and of course, after she was taken into custody uh, and entered into, so they entered her into a psychiatric hospital for assessment. And while she was there, she confessed to killing, uh, the killing of three of the children, but denied all knowledge of the others. Okay. So that's why they got her just on the three. Okay. Um, it was decided that it was not going to be easy to prove that the other deaths were her fault. Um, so, again, she was only charged with the three deaths of uh, Cassie Johnson, who was first, uh, the daughter of her stepsister, and Travis Coleman. Okay. And that is Christine Falling. Nice. Sorry, it's a short one. No, it's okay. It's not a short one. Yeah. We have another. We have a more recent photo of her, if anyone's uh, curious uh, here. Send you better. Yeah, that's. Jesus. But she is dull witted. That's definitely. Oh my God. My. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing this is a prison photo. Yeah. Looks like yeah, it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's still in. I mean, she's. I don't think she'll ever get out. Oh, yeah. I mean, life in prison uh, without the possibility of parole for at least 25 years. I, I guarantee every parole hearing is going to be denied. Oh, I'm sure. She, she's never going to be able to admit guilt. Right. She's never going to confess. Um, she just doesn't have the mental capacity to do it. Yeah. I do have a surprise for you, though. What do you got? You know what time it is? Oh, my God. We got, yeah. we got, we got somebody? We got a player, buddy. Woo! Yes, we do. I like it. <laughs> Can't wait to see who this week's player is. Oh, man. You ready to play Wheel of Death? This right. is a shocker. This is another one of those where I did something. Without telling you. <laughs> of course. Here we go. <laughs> How it normally goes. Yep. Hey, Mike, uh, you know, even though we were off the last two weeks, I decided we're going to do this, but I didn't tell you till today. Yeah. So normally Mike draws from the Bucket of Doom. Yep. This is our Bucket of Doom. Yep, Bucket of Doom. But today I'm going to do the honors. Oh. So I'm going to draw a name. Okay. Because it's a yep. surprise guest. Oh. We don't have a wheel up here yet, though. Oh, uh, we'll get it up here. Okay. Hmm. Mike. Mike who? You. You, Mike. I get to play finally? You get to play. God, I hope I get to. You know what? You have been. <laughs> I better get this fucking one. You have been so patiently and kindly asking almost every episode to play. Yeah. So I decided what we would do is uh, we'll get the wheel up here. Okay. I'll spin it. I'll be your spinner. Okay. Because you'll be mad at me if I yeah, mess yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, And uh, whatever you land on, I'll, I'll get you. Really? And if it's something that you already got like a you know like we're members to our own thing yeah yeah like and i uh, buy stuff all the time and whatever i'll let you pick something i'll get you something okay all right if it is your first time watching the show this is the beautiful wheel of death wheel of death now normally the way this works is uh we have a sign up form on our website to um i'll put a qr code on the screen if you're watching you scan it take you right to it um but you can sign up we'll add your name to the bucket of doom and then we will Draw a name on every episode if we have players. Yep. And get to spin the wheel. Yep. You get to pick who you want to spin. 
Yeah, you get to pick whether you want uh, myself or Mike to to spin the wheel. Yep. Uh, we spin it. Whatever you land on, you get. Um, and, and we just didn't. We're out of players. We haven't had. We've gone through the entire list of people that have signed up. So which well, how many have we done? Eight or ten? Yeah, probably something like that. Yeah. Um, and we didn't have anybody for this week. No one has signed up recently. So I thought, okay, hey, cool. we'll let Mike play. All right. So uh, what we got here on the wheel? We have T-shirts, hoodies, gift, gift cards, cards to our merch store. Uh, free buy me a coffee memberships, which we'll get to in a minute. But I know the big thing you want is the Wheel of Death T-shirt. Correct. We're gonna. There's two spots on there that say Wheel of Death T-shirt. So okay. we're gonna pray, pray for one of those. Okay. Because uh, just for a uh, little backstory here, the Wheel of Death T-shirt. You have to land on the Wheel of Death to get it. And even though I work here, <laughs> I can't get it unless I play the game and, and I land on this spot. We have had someone win it. We've once. had once. So. And, and it's not like in our merch, merch store or anything. Yeah. So there is literally one person in the entire world that is wearing that shirt around right yeah. now. And yeah. you want to be number two. Yep. He's out of Michigan. I want to be out of, out of our state. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so and if you land on death, you, it's pretty much explanatory. You're shit out of luck. Yeah. So you can't throw a fit. You're gone. Yeah. All right. You ready for the big spin? Yep. Let's go. This is a great shot. We got the wheel and your face oh, in here. God, look at this. So get my expression. All right. So what do you, you want to hard, like as hard as I can? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, All right. yeah. You holding that end there? Right. So I'm gonna wing it, dude. I'm holding it. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, that put off some wind. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. Death. Death. Fuck. <laughs> I luck. God damn it. Should I should I give him No, no. It's should we do another? Fair. I'll tell you what, one more. Okay. One more. All You've right. been so nice about this, and I see how disappointed you look, okay. and I don't want you to be disappointed. Right. Well, try one more. So here we go. Here's another big one. That's that's usually what I roll. Big um, money, big money, big money, big money. God damn it. Oh, oh, oh. And I said that I would move it to the next. Oh, all right. Wheel of Death t-shirt, baby. I'm wearing it on my next episode when I get it. You got it. Yep. It's all yours. I've worn it all the time. I've never taken it off. Well, <laughs> it's just every single yeah, episode. Every episode, I'll have that on. Do it. Why not? I'll, dude, I'll wear it every day, period. Right. Hey, there you go. Clean the house, cut the grass. <laughs> what do I do? What do you know, I got to do? <laughs> I got to go to a, a wedding. I'm wearing a shirt. We're <laughs> With a tie. Yep. Well, I, uh, it'll be in the mail, man. All right. I'll cool. order it. I'll order it for you tomorrow. Well, thanks, man. I'm excited. But I, see, I'm excited. <laughs> I had a really shitty day today. Really shitty. If day. you couldn't tell, and, and I, you know, I, and I, and I, 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 work, I work from home, per se, because you know, I'm a podcaster. Right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, how could you have a bad day from home? Well, you know, if I happens, had a bad day. It happens. Yeah. It happens. But all, all the way here. Oh, and the funny part was I couldn't uh, find my glasses. <laughs> Going nuts. <laughs> I was late to get here. Sent him a text. Said, hey, I'm running late. Can't find my damn glasses. We come over here start the show. Guess what I find? My glasses. <laughs> right there on the right, table. Right on the table. From last week. From last week. <laughs> Been here a whole week. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Jesus, man. Okay. Well, cool. Congrats. And uh, like I said earlier, this was kind of demonstrate to demonstrate how this works. So yeah. if you're interested in playing... We put you on the Jumbotron. We kind of do a FaceTime type thing. Yeah, you get you to be on the show. Be on the show. And you get to spin the wheel. So uh, twomurdermorons.com slash wheel of death. Or Sign up. Scan the, the QR. QR code. <laughs> yeah, scan whatever. that screw R code, code on your screen. And to, sign up, uh, man. Come on, people. Sign up. I know. It's, like, it's we simple, need. easy to play, and you get something free. Yeah. Yeah. In the worst case scenario, you get death, you get nothing. But you get to be on the show. You get to see us. And that is the greatest gift of all. Is it is. It, it is. It really is. Do we, uh, well, oh, yeah. Do, do we, uh, well, if you enjoyed this episode, it was kind of short. It, it was okay. Yeah. This is one of it our was, shorter it, ones. It was a hard read a little bit. I, I, I did, I tried to put it together pretty good, but it was kind of a weird one. It happens. Uh, yeah. I liked it. Yeah. It was, it good. was good. But if you enjoyed this and you want more, or if you've been watching us for a while, you yeah. want more, or do you, we do bonus episodes. Yeah, and if you want to request, this was a request. So we do request. Oh, yes. Yeah, just leave a comment yeah. at, at, under this video or under this podcast. You know, If you're on a platform that does the commenting, we check all that stuff. So yeah. leave, us a, leave us a suggestion. Or email us, two murder morons at Gmail. Yeah. Like, send us an email or message us on Facebook or Instagram or, you know, yeah, we're all over yeah. all that yeah. stuff. You can find us anywhere. But we... Uh, yeah, suggestions are awesome. That's, yeah, they are really good. Because yeah. you might find something that you know we didn't, we haven't found. Oh yeah, and it might be an awesome story, something we've never heard of, or yeah, something. Mm -hmm. But if you want even more than that, we do bonus episodes. We sure do, uh, and those are for our members on Buy Me a Coffee. 
Um, so you can check out um, our different membership levels there, buymeacoffee.com slash two murder morons. Um, we have exclusive benefits like everyone gets bonus episodes. There's different tiers. You could be like the executive producers executive producer, you see on, the, on the screen, screen, on the website, all that kind of good stuff. But head to buy me a coffee, check out our page, and uh, it starts little as three bucks a month. Yep. You help support the show, which we greatly appreciate. And you get all those uh, bonus episodes every other, <laughs> every other Friday. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> and a, hey, or you could just buy us a coffee. Oh, that's true. See, this is what I like about this is why I like buy me a coffee better than Patreon. Patreon. Because Patreon doesn't do this. No. Buy me a coffee, you can look, you know, if you're not into the membership crap yeah. of like, oh, I got to do a one time purchase. Out. Yeah. You, you can just do a little, hey, I want to buy these two idiots a, a cup of coffee. And it's like yeah. a little donation type thing. Yeah. And we greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Another way to support the show merch. Merch. Visit our merch store, twomurdermorons.com. Why can I never spit out our name? Man? I don't it drives know. Me nuts. Yeah, it happens. You can get awesome stuff like the hat. Yep, the hat. Um, shirts, shirts. Hoodies. Posters. All kinds of good stuff. Um, you can find that by scanning the QR code on your screen or going to twomurdermorons.com slash merch. Set it right. right. Yep. Coffee cup is good, too. The coffee cup is great. Oh, I love this thing. Does it get hot in the microwave? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm, not at all. I don't know. My wife says it doesn't. And if we haven't shamelessly plugged stuff enough, if you get a coffee mug, why not try crime coffee? Crime coffee. So hello, Mike and I. I am a coffee addict. I am. I don't know about you, but I. So um, we found this company that that does these. It's delicious. It's certified craft. Yeah. Specialty coffee by the Specialty Coffee Association of America. I think it is. It's really good. We have three different. We have a medium roast, a light roast, a dark French roast. Um, each box comes with a crime story, a little crime story in the back that will kind of rotate through every now and then. But um, why not sip a coffee and listen to our show? Yeah, it's good stuff. Goes together. But that helps us out too. That's a, another way to support the show. Yeah. Also, we got to give credit where credit is due. Of course. Um, we well, you found this Murderpedia, 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 Mur- Murderpedia yeah, which Murderpedia. is if you've never been on Murderpedia, like it's yeah. it's a pretty cool website. It is. It's pretty everything. Crime and murder is on, you know, yeah. kind of like the Wikipedia of a murder. murder. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. So check it out. We'll link the description to Murderpedia. The, the show. Yeah, the article. Um, in the description below. What What do you think about having, like, a secondary show that's, like, an after show? Oh, yeah. Where we're not doing, like, a, a story focused on, though, Ted Bundy, this is Ted, you know, and it's more like us hanging out, talking. Yeah. Shooting the breeze about. What's going on Whatever. in the world? Yeah, dude, it keeps me out. Anything keep me out of the house. <laughs> you give me something to do. No, I'm not saying it in a bad way, but just, I, yeah, I, I'm game. Yeah. So we'll co- maybe we'll come up with something. And if somebody comments that they, they would like to see that, then. Yeah, we'll come up with something we'll, to talk about. Well, yeah, we'll just hang out and record ourselves. I mean, I'm thinking about all the times we hit record and we end up fucking around for 20 minutes yeah. talking about stuff, laughing, you know, and then we're like, all right, we should probably get this started yeah and then after it's over what do we do we, we, we sit around, around the 30 right. minutes sit your bullshit so there might as well be like another yeah. you know after hours or after dark or whatever we want to call a show we'll oh after we'll come dark up with that's something. a good idea we'll come up with something yeah. it could be cool yeah. i don't know we'll see we're good for it in any event there'll be a new episode episode why can episode. i episode there will be a new episode oh, what are you are you done with it i'm from new york yeah you're done with i it. like the accents uh, there'll be a new episode next Wednesday night at seven. He was born in Illinois. <laughs> that's, that's a totally different accent. False side that's of Chicago. False, Chicago. false side of Chicago. <laughs> the false side. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next Wednesday for our next episode. Yep. Have a good night. We'll see Thanks, you later. Thanks, guys. See you.